Hi and welcome to Match Move for Production by VFX Tutors. I'm Josh and in this video we'll be continuing with the shot MM19. In part 2 we'll be importing our camera and our object animation into Maya and getting it ready to be used. So Maya is open so our first thing that we want to do is go File, Import and go to our Exports. So we've got Hunter H2 Cam Mel script that we exported out. Import that in. And you should have a scene in your outliner now. So we should have a Hunter sequence camera and a Sigma camera. If we delete that one, we don't need that because that was our lens grid one. So our next thing we do is go, go to the first frame, import our single frame lineup head. So our Hunter head single frame lineup. Import. And go file, import, and we want to go to our set geo. And import our set geo. So now we can see we've got our head in the shot and we've got our set geo there. If we go to our panels, perspective, hunter camera. Might not be able to see much at the moment. So if we go to our select our camera, this little icon here, go to our attribute editor, select our image plane shape. We want to swap out this for our understory plate. So if we click the little file, go to our understory plate where we rendered it out. Go UDP hunter underscore plate EXR, click open. Now I want to select use image sequence, change my alpha gain to 0 0.7, then scroll down and go to depth, and change that to one. So now we can see everything. So before we scrub for our timeline, we want to make sure we're on frame one or 1001. Select our hunter head single frame lineup mesh and middle mouse click and drop it under our point group. This now is parented to our point group, which has the animation. So now when we scrub through, our head has all the animation. And we can group this one, call it set geo G, GRP. And we can middle mouse click and stick that under the scene. So if we click on shaded, wireframe with shaded. And you can just play through should be able to play through because it's got a half, res a half resolution plate. And now we're pretty much done with this shot. We've set it all up. We've got our object track in there with our animation on our head. Uh, so you can say like, ex make, give him a beard or something or do some sort of makeup on him or something. So yeah, we're done with this shot. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.